Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold. In the last episode, we went down the eastern coast of Kanto. And now that we have the power back, I'm back here at Saffron City. Because there's a little something something that we need to do. It's a pretty important something something. So ple please remember to do this. It's not required, but I mean, you're gonna see. You'll see. So we're back at the copycat's house here in Saffron City. This happens after you get the electricity working. Hi, I heard that you lost your cherished Pokeball. Poke doll. If I find it, you'll give me a magnet train pass? I'll go find it for you. You think you lost it when you went to Vermilion City? Pardon? Yeah, I shouldn't decide what you do should do, but I'm really worried. What if someone finds it? Hmm, also a call from Lyra. Hello, this is Lyra. How are you? Took a Tauros over to Moo Farm on thir Route 39 recently. There was such an uproar, I didn't know what to do. Wait, you did- wait, you took a Tauros to it? What? <laughs> what- what happened? I mean, you brought a Tauros around a bunch of Miltank. I can't believe- I can't imagine it's child-friendly. Alright, so we got the little tip to go to Vermilion City. So... We're gonna do that real quick. It's a real quick walk, so I'm not gonna bother cutting. So, this episode, it, just for like the, so you know what's coming up, we're not going to be fighting any more gyms. It's going to be a lot of exploring areas. I actually really don't want to encounter anything here, so I'm just gonna pop a repel. We're gonna need to get more soon. It's been a long while. It's gonna be a lot of just exploring routes. So if you're down with that, have fun, but no gym fights. All right, here we are in Vermilion City. There's not a lot of points of interest here, so it's not too hard to figure out where you need to go. Got the Pokemon fan club. How's it doing, everyone? Remember we saw this guy here with a Clefairy doll? I love Clefairy, but I could never catch one, so I'm making do with the Poke doll that I found. What? The girl who lost this Poke doll is sad. Okay, could you take this Poke doll back to that poor little girl? I'll befriend a real Clefairy on my own one day. And we got the lost item, easy as that. Need a Sleetus. Let's get out of here. And who is that? Hi, my name is Steven. The champion from the Hoenn region. Have we met before? That's not possible. All the trainers I've battled seem to have the same look anyway. Especially the ones who gave me the tough battles. By the way, have you heard of a Pokemon called Latias? I'm investigating why Latias, a Pokemon from Hoenn, decided to leave Hoenn to come here. Latias is a Pokemon that has a lot to do with the Soul Dew, a gem-like orb. Considering the fact that Latias is now in Kanto, it's possible to assume that this has to do with the Soul Dew. Latias is a Pokemon that travels a great distance. It'll be difficult to find without any machine to track it with, but any trainer will be drawn to it, won't they? I must go. May our journeys cross again. Yeah! Like I said, they, they put a lot of content into this game. We've now seen, what, three champ? No, two champions so far. Uh, so after that, check your map, and there's a little icon there. This is the third time we've seen an icon like this. We've previously caught Entei and Raiko, now there's a Latias just kind of roaming around, so we're going to have to do another roaming Pokemon battle to catch that bad boy. If you're playing Soul Silver, you will have Latios. There used to be a way to get both in the same game. However, it was through a distributed Wi-Fi event that you got an item and you would have a battle in the game in Pewter City. That does not exist anymore, obviously, unless you're using Game Sharks or whatever. Anyway, that's the main reason you want to do the side quest, but there's still a little bit more for us to get by giving the Poké Doll back. So of course, we're not just going to go out, find the Poké Doll, and just keep it. Also, they specifically label it as a lost item, so you cannot use it in battle as a Poké Doll, so... That's fun. Yay, that's my Clefairy Poké Doll. See the tear where the right arm is sewn on? That's proof. Okay, I'll give you this Magnet Train Pass as I promised. And we got the pass, so now we have an easy way to get back to Goldenrod City. You should show the ticket at you should show it at the ticket gate to get on the magnet train. The rail company men gave me that when they tore down our old house for the station. Yeah. I <laughs> you know, that doesn't really make up for it. I'm assuming it's, you know, a hefty house. 
not just like a thousand dollar cottage or something. But yeah, so now we have access to the Magnet Train. Kanto Johto Magnet Train Line, Saffron City Station. Let's check it out. I'm probably not going to take it because I have no reason to go back to Goldenrod City at the moment. Ooh, how many times have I gone back and forth between Kano and Johto? Hi, do you have a Magnet Train Pass? I have one. All the people in Saffron who ride the Magnet Train have passes. Crazy how that's, you know, what a coincidence. Before the Magnet Train Station was built, there was a house here. A little girl who was called Copycat used to live in it. I like how they <laughs> they identified the house through the little girl and not the parents. You request that you make sure your Pokemon are well behaved or put away in their Pokeballs so they won't lick other passengers' faces. Uh, sorry to say this, if Macargo licks your face, you're probably not living. <laughs> that's not gonna turn out well for you. Anyway, that's that. Now we have a Magnet Train Pass. Normally, when you want to get back to Kanto, you need to fly to the Pokemon League and then fly again to wherever you want to go to Johto. So it's a little bit annoying, but yeah. Uh, so we want to go... Actually, I want to go back to Vermilion City real quick. Well, I just refilled my Super Repels. I think it's about time that we knock out all the, po all the items that our mom has bought for us. Also, wow, everyone else freezes mid-frame. We got a Hyper Potion, not bad. Keep them coming, buddy. Choice Scarf? Oh my god! Really? That's a really good competitive item. Choice Scarf will lock you into whatever move you choose first when you throw your Pokémon out, but it increases your speed by, I believe, 50%? So, uh, yeah, it's really good. Muscle Band? It's decent, I suppose. Wacken Berries, I believe that's one of the berry types that reduces the power of a move when it hits you. I don't recall which one. Culber Berries, I think that's the same one. I want to say that might be Ice. I'm not sure. No further packages. Wow. Uh, we, <laughs> we have a Choice Scarf. You know, that might not be a terrible item to give to uh, one of our Pokemon. Wow, that's absolutely nuts. Slightly boosts the power of physical moves. Eh, it's not bad either. Because if I were to give it to anyone, I think it would be Napalm, since Napalm usually comes out as a revenge killer anyway. So if it were able to outspeed everything, obviously it'd be like really great. Because uh, I believe a Choice Scarf, it'll naturally outspeed pretty much every Pokemon in the game, maybe except for Ninjask, which is the fastest Pokemon in the Pokemon series. But uh, I'm pretty sure I don't recall what its base speed is, but if it's at least 100, then yes, it now currently would outspeed everything in the game with the Choice Scarf. Uh, ugh. I could also give it to Ace because it has U-Turn and be able to get out that off first every time it uses it. It's gonna go to Napalm. Napalm's only holding a Silk Scarf, which just raises its power a little bit. I think the Choice Scarf will actually be very powerful. Muscle Band could also go to someone. Um, who's... Who's out here using physical moves? I guess Bud is. Top Spot is too. What's Top Spot's current item? Black Glasses? You know what? Yeah. I don't know if the Muscle Band gives a bigger boost than, like, you know, Black ga Glasses or Silk Scarf, but, uh, I'll do the research and I'll decide if I want to keep it on it in the future, but currently the only move that won't be boosted by that is Psychic, so I think it's a pretty good fit. Wow. We have a Choice Scarf. <laughs> That's absolutely nuts. Anyway, we have a little something something to do here. Do I have enough Pokeballs for this? Yeah! It's the middle of the day, so I can't really use my Dusk Balls, but that's fine. Uh, what's up? I'm Diglett's Cave. So, now that we have the EXPN card, we're able to deal with this. Obviously, this is, once again, after you... After you restore the electricity to... Okay, I didn't mean to do that. What's this music, by the way? Nope. This is the lullaby again? It's Tuesday again! I record this the same day every single week, I guess. Anyway, Pokey Flute. And then we interact with Snorlax. As Snorlax opened its eyes wide. And we have a battle! No big deal. It's just... A level 50 Snorlax. Pretty cool Pokemon to have, I'm not gonna lie. I really want it. It's not, I'm not gonna reset if I don't manage to get it. 
But uh, I would really enjoy having a Snorlax on. Just just having a Snorlax around would be really cool. It has Giga Impact. Okay. That's the strongest physical normal type move in the game. Other than self-destruct and explosion. What are you holding? Of course you have leftovers. That's a good way to get the leftovers. I would love that for Bud, actually. Uh, since it... It's going to be attacking fairly slowly. I'm going to really try to get this Ancient Power boost so that Daisy can just absolutely tank whatever the Snorlax throws at us and also be able to do a little bit more damage as well. Yeah, this is a big, chunky boy. It's higher leveled than most of our Pokemon. So if you, if you for whatever reason, don't have a full team that you like at this point, I recommend this. It's a, it's a cool Pokemon. It has Rollout Giga Impact, I guess. I didn't know that any Pokemon would come naturally with it. Can I please get just one Ancient Power Boost? I might have to swap out to something that can take that rollout better. Because it is super effective. And I don't want to be hit with that. Actually, I could just try to put him to sleep. That Leftovers is really doing some work. Uh, no one resists Rock, I'm realizing. Uh, Daisy... Yawn, uh, if you live this, I'll heal you next turn, and it should go to sleep and break the rollout streak. I should have used that a long time ago, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, I didn't expect you to. Okay. Um, I'm gonna throw out whoever can just do the most damage. We don't have any fighting-type moves on our team, so unfortunately we won't be able to do any super effective damage. Who's gonna hurt? Actually, you know what? Napalm with your newly acquired choice scarf, we can show this off. So it doesn't lock you into using a move every single turn. You are all you are allowed to like run or you know use an item. So it's not you know you're not locked locked in. You're just locked in. If you choose a fight, you'll automatically use it. All right, go to sleep. I hope that doesn't one shot me. Actually, now I think about it. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think about that. I thought it would be dead before it got, or asleep before it got the next rollout boost. I'm afraid of knocking it out, so I'm going to use strength here. Wow. I'm just really dumb. It should be able to survive this anyway. Unless I crit, which would be unfortunate. I think this is going to be just about exactly one HP. No, it's knocked out. The Choice Scarf has already, already ruined us. Well, it's gone. Oh, another item. Cool. Well, um, I don't think I'm gonna bother healing yet because we have a little bit of uh, easy exploration to do here, really. We have another route to explore. Uh, we weren't able to get here before unless you went through the East Coast. And I'm also going to use the Super Repel if I don't have it activated already I bought a I bought quite a few of them we have so much money listen nope we have plenty cool I bought 30 so we're good uh, there there's quite a few items on this route if I remember correctly what is it where does this go vermilion city okay I don't know if you could get this item. Ooh, sticky barb that's actually one of the best we got the TM for fling and rock error uh, what is it was it rock tunnel I think it's called Rock Tunnel. Uh, we got the TM for Fling. The the Sticky Barb is one of the best mo or items that you can use with Fling because not only is it an 80 power damage move, but it also 100% poisons the enemy. So it's pretty useful. If it were to have any one good use, that would be the item to use. Also, I said it incorrectly when I said that if you throw the Toxic Orb, it poisons the Pokemon. It actually badly poisons the Pokemon. I didn't actually know that it went full out with it like that. It's like here, revive, nice. Like how the people still move. All right, there's quite a few items here and there's actually one TM that I wanted to use for our team. Grass Knot. You can guess who this is going to go to. So I have actually untaught cut to Bud and normally I would go for a little bit more coverage, but I don't, I don't know if it's necessary. Do we have Sludge Bomb? We don't. Did I never pick up Sludge Bomb? Huh. Uh, 
Normally I would be necessary, but I want to show off the move Grass Knot because it is very likely that you're going to have a team member that will benefit from this item. As you can see, half of our team's able to learn it, even though, like, we only have one Grass type. This is one of those moves that, like, almost anything. I'd, I'd say, like, a fourth of all Pokemon in the game can learn it, so it's definitely possible. So, go for it. Uh, it does damage based on the enemy's weight. Basically, if they look heavy, it'll probably do at least 80 base power. Uh, if they're lighter, I wouldn't even bother because it goes down to 20 base power. It'll go up to 120 base power if it's the absolute heaviest of all Pokemon. Like, I'm talking like Aggron levels of weight, Groudon levels of weight. So, uh, it's not often you'll do 120, but 100's... it's common. You could probably hit 100 on Onix. A few others that I can probably not think of for the moment. And here's Diglett Cave. We're finally able to come into here. A bunch of Diglett popped out of the ground. It was surprising. Wow, really? Diglett and Diglett Cave. Who could guess it? Diglett's a pretty good Pokemon. Uh, again, you probably already got all your Pokemon here. There's actually a lot of items that we're not going to be able to get yet. Due to not having a certain HM. They really like to wait on giving you this HM, so... Uh, we're going to be struggling with that for a while. Drop a super repel. I don't too much care to just fight all the Pokemon here. Because they do have Arena Trap. And that can get annoying very quickly. Max Revive. Good lord. Absolutely take that. That will be useful for a rainy day. Uh, saying there's getting something over here. Yeah, there's an item we can't get, obviously. An entire area we can't get to. Yeah. There's a lot to explore there that we just can't do. All that extra exploring, though, is uh, unique to this game. In Gen 1, it had uh, nothing there. And we come out on Route 2. This is Diglett's Cave. So, just to give you the visual, because I know it's just, you know, we come out of the cave at some random point. This is where we are now. Also, Latias is very close. They do move one route at a time, so we could actually get over to it um, pretty easily. Although, I don't plan on doing that for a little bit. I think it's pretty obvious where to go from this point. Pewter said he's right here. We have no reason to go. I don't... No. I don't need cut, do I? I better not. Carbos. I just untaught cut. I just did that. Oh boy. Hey, anyway, at least we can get an Apricorn. Delicious. There's got, there's got to be one way out. Uh, hey, if you're playing one of the Gen 1 games, I believe this is a trade for a Mr. Mime. Since you look as bright as a nugget, let me give you a little present. The nugget. The nugget? That's a nugget. <laughs> I can't give you any nuggets of wisdom, so that'll have to do. Thanks for the nugget. I believe, yeah, I believe that's a trade for Mr. Mime in the originals, so. Not gold, silver original, but red, blue, yellow original. This is important. So you're Rob? Professor Oak is waiting for you in his lab in Pallet Town. Also, I received this from him. He wants you to have this. The Sacred Ash. This is our second one because we did receive one when we caught Ho-Oh, which revives all fainted Pokemon. Very powerful item. Not sure if I'll ever use it, but hey, it's nice to have it there just for insurance. Still on Route 2. Oh, come on. Stop. Stop showing me all these cuttable trees. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Oh. All right. I mean, what am I... What am I gonna do? Because I can't... I don't have any heart scales. Uh, I'll be right back. Ugh, I'm back. Time to cut some trees. Oh boy. That was fun. Uh, also, welcome to Route 2. We'll have time to completely explore this area later. We're going to be coming all the way down south through all this, but uh, for now, I just want to go straight up to Pewter City. How's it hanging? At night, Clefairy come out to play at Mount Moon, but not every night. Hmm, you might have to go see that, perhaps. Pewter City's got a, quite a bit going on. There's the Pewter Museum of Science. Hello, just when you least... Oh, I didn't expect to see you. Yeah, which, you know... When you least expect it, it fits. This is the, uh, science museum that every game has to have. They say that meteorites struck somewhere near Pewty City. 
love to display them here in our museum, but these meteorites are said to emit strange energy and cannot be carried away. Yes, if you know what in, what's important in the Pokemon series about meteorites, you know what to do with them. I should be grateful for my long life. Never did I think I'd be able to see the bones of a dragon. Yeah, I mean, the young people here are seeing it too. There are two places that I love. One is the ruins of Alpha and Johto. The other is the Pewter Museum. It's so quiet, it makes me feel calm. Do you think it's admirable history? Silent, do, do you feel it's admirable history silently creeping up on you? It's Jamie. Hey Rob, this is Jamie, how you doing? Want a battle? Going to win. No, you won't. No, you won't. What it's, what's your deal? Do you know that you can extract Pokemon from fossils? If you ever need to, let me take care of it for you. Hey, you don't have any fossils. Heard that sometimes you find fossil when you smash, ro smash rocks at the ruins of Alf and other places. Yeah, we haven't explored the ruins of Alf yet because I just haven't gotten around to it. Uh, but we will. I'll show it off when we go back through just cleaning everything up. Also, can I... Oh! Apricorns! I thought the meteorite was over here. Well, this works too, I suppose. Yoink! Bunk! Such a satisfying plop out of it. Also, it's weird to me that this specific tree is like behind the other ones. It's layered behind them. I don't know. Maybe it's just because it's supposed to show that the tree on the left is higher up and the one on the right is just naturally overriding it because Sprite's got to do that. I don't know. It's just weird that it's in the very back. Hello, old man. What's your deal? Ah, you came all the way out here from Johto? That brings back memories. When I was young, I went to Johto to train. You remind me so much of what I was like as a young man. Here, I want you to have this item I found in Johto. We got the Silver Wing. This is a very important, just random NPC standing in the middle of nowhere in town. Talk to him. Uh, and that'll do it for the exploration that I want to do here right now. Of course, we do have a gym battle to do here. So in the next episode, that's exactly what we're going to do. See you all then, and goodbye.